Tanya Butler, first day of school. First day of school, Tanya Butler. The first day of school. Undoubtedly, the most highly anticipated day of the entire school year. Except for maybe the last day of school, but there's something about that first day of school that's special. And even when you feel nervous or anxious or even afraid, if you can just stay focused and remember the reason why you came, you'll be able to muster up the courage to walk through that door. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and most honored guests, I cannot remember my first day of high school. And I definitely cannot remember my first day of kindergarten. <laughs> but my first day of law school, now that's a day that I will never forget. Fresh out of college, I started working for a property management company. And one of my jobs was to collect the monthly rents and take it to the bank. Well, it just so happened that on the night I had to go to the bank, that was my first day of law school. I was a night student, and I went part time. Didn't matter. The bank closed at 5. I started class at 6. There shouldn't have been any reason why I couldn't get there on time. However, something happened that day that changed my life and my perspective forever. As I walk into the bank, there was this odd occurrence. Time stood still. It was as if I entered into a time warp, you know, where everything starts to move in slow motion. For example, first thing I see is a man in a suit lying on the floor. Then I see another man at a big brown desk with his hands in the air. Next, I see a woman in a dress crouched behind a chair trying to stuff her purse behind a potted plant. As I move closer, I see a bank teller crying. Then I see another teller with her hands in the air, and yet a third teller hurriedly stuffing money into a bag, and that's when I see him, a man in a black ski mask holding a gun. At that moment, time stood still, and I immediately ducked down behind that desk. You know, the one where you fill out the deposit slips? <laughs> I closed my eyes, and I couldn't see him, but I could hear him yelling and cursing at the teller. Hurry up! Hurry up! I was nervous. I was anxious. And I was afraid, mainly because I had over $5,000 worth of rent receipts in my purse. Now, had he asked me for the money, of course, I would have given it to him gladly. But what if he wanted more? What if he wanted to hurt me? My grandmother taught me this trick where you're supposed to take a key, and then you put it in between your fingers so that you could punch out your assailant's eyes. <laughs> I didn't know if I was going to use that or not. But I knew one thing. I was not going to leave this world without a fight. Fortunately, I had no use for my makeshift stabbing device <laughs> because the robber jumped over the counter, flew out the side of the bank, and into the streets. The bank manager then runs around to every door, locking it. He sounds the alarm, and then he says, no one is allowed to leave the bank until the police arrive. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> I got somewhere to go. I have to be in class in 30 minutes, and it's going to take me at least that long to get there. But to no avail, my argument failed. We had to wait for the police. And one by one, they interviewed each of us. By the time they got to me, it was 6 o'clock, and I was late for class. I go to school anyway, and as I stand at the door of the classroom, I'm nervous. I'm anxious, I'm afraid. But I remember why I came, and I somehow mustered up the courage to walk through that door. And as soon as I did, the professor sees me and says, Miss Butler, I presume? 
I hope you have a good reason for being late to the first day of class. <laughs> Without hesitation, I admitted it. I'm sorry, sir. I was a witness to a bank robbery, and I had to stay until the police took my witness statement. He looked at me. He looked back at the board, and then he just kept on writing. <laughs> Of course, after class, I explained to my classmates and to my professors what had happened. And each of them undoubtedly said that they would have gone home, that there's no way that they would have come to class after something like that. But I thought differently. You see, I knew that there would never be another first day of law school. And that harrowing experience taught me another thing. There'll never be another first day of anything. <laughs> Not a first day on your new job, or first day moving into your new house, or first day giving an international Toastmaster speech. <laughs> and no matter how anxious or, or nervous or fearful you are, if you just stay focused and remember why you came, you will somehow muster up the courage to walk through that door. And who are we to let a little old bank robbery <laughs> ruin our first day of school? Mr. Toastmaster. Good job, Tommy.